Welcome to Spreadsheet Solving. Today, we'll take a look at a neat application of Google Spreadsheets. Now we know life can get incredibly hectic. Life gets busy, we've got all these tasks and responsibilities at hand. You feel overwhelmed. Now the great thing is we have this tool here that can help you out. So why not learn how to create it and take advantage of it? Here's a sample. We're calling this a priority log. Let's imagine you're a student and you've got all your tasks that you have at hand, whether they are related to your club, your school, your friends, you've listed them. You've noted what the start and end dates are. And at that point, voila, your spreadsheet's going to calculate everything you need. So this spreadsheet will tell you what are the month and days that this project is due. How much time did you have? Do you have to complete this task? And based on today's date, how many days left do you have to complete it? Whether or not you've done your task, you're going to specify it with a yes. Now, if your project is past due and you haven't done it yet, you're going to be flagged with a big, bold red. So that's kind of neat because this tool is going to tell you, flag to you, when something is due or past due. In addition, you can start sorting your data and filtering it based on criteria that you can set. So for instance, let's say you want to highlight or sort rather by the days left to complete. If you sort by A to Z, at this point, the tasks are sorted by the days that you need to complete something immediately down to the days where you have the most amount of time, projects that you have the most amount of time to complete. Let's say you want to specify what are all the tasks I need to get done in the month of December. You check off the 12 for December and all your December tasks will be populated. Not only that, you've already kept the filter in terms of days left to complete. So you know that this task, your essay for AP Literature, is due first in the month of December. In addition, let's say you want to just filter out and see what are all the projects that are due or past due. At that point, you can just check off the yes, and all the projects that have already been due or past due will be filtered out. So this is a very easy, simple tool for you to use to keep track of all the tasks that you need to get done, type typify them, classify them, and as long as you know what your start and due dates are and whether you've completed the task or not, this provides you with a handy way of cutting slicing data to see what tasks should be higher on your priority list. So in the subsequent videos, you are going to learn how to create this. Date functions are pretty important here because those are used to calculate columns E through H. That will be in a separate video. You're going to learn conditional formatting because that is what, what enables your red bowl to come out automatically when a project is due or past due. This column also requires you to learn the nested if statement. So that is something else that we're going to learn in another video. Auto filtering. And there you have it. Simple, easy, and a great tool to use for life. Thanks so much.